Our paper is entitled The Recognition of Pain and Learned Behaviour in Horses Which Buck. I'm Sue Dyson and I work as an independent consultant. My co-author is Katie Thompson, formerly an intern at the Animal Health Trust and currently an ambulatory clinician at the University of Edinburgh. This was a commissioned review article. Our objectives were to define bucking behaviour, of which there are a number of types, some being more dangerous to the rider than others. Our aim was to review the literature relating to bucking and allied behaviours in horses. However, there was more literature related to injuries inflicted to riders than the actual causes of bucking in horses. And therefore, in addition, we described our personal observations. We aim to describe an approach to clinical investigation and to discuss management strategies. The causes of bucking behaviour include excitement or exuberance, defensive behaviour associated with fear, learned behaviour through negative reinforcement or a reaction to musculoskeletal pain. We discuss the role of the rider and describe the principal causes of musculoskeletal pain and a logical approach to investigation of a horse which presents with bucking behaviour. In some horses, Identification of a primary source of pain allows targeted treatment and resolution of the pain. And then careful retraining is crucial. The help of a skilled professional horseman who is used to dealing with difficult horses is an essential prerequisite for this retraining process. An understanding of learning behaviour is also required for successful rehabilitation, which needs to be a slow and progressive process. Ultimately, it is the safety of the rider which is of paramount importance. Our paper does not provide all the answers, but we hope that veterinarians will be encouraged to themselves learn more about learning theory in order to better help their clients. We also recognise that there are some horses in which the behaviour cannot be reliably improved and which ultimately we have to recommend should either be retired or humanely destroyed in order to safeguard rider safety. We have no declarations.